But first, you must wear your medal and your attire and run five miles through the desert. Kiflam, my antithesis. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 5 video. This one is called Exercising the Truth. And Michael gets further into the Epsilon cult, but it's a very long mission. So what I'm going to do is fast forward through until Michael reaches each mile because he has to jog eight miles through the desert. And I'm going to show you how to do this with the least amount of threat to Michael's life and the basically easiest way to do this. So let's get on with exercising the truth. So you roll up to this place in the desert where there's a boat and a trailer. And Marnie or Myrna or whatever her name is, comes out, and you are awarded, but you got to do something that besides just receiving an award. Kiflam! Kiflam! Come on, you've discovered great things! Kiflam, brother, father, you now know we're not alone. And you've discovered the importance of higher beings, celebrities, like me, as people to worship and guide you to truth. Here, this is your medal for your achievements so far. Chris is very happy with you. Indeed I am happy, Zondar. You have achieved great things, but it is as a blink of the eye. Unless you achieve more, you shall not survive the apocalypse. Chris has spoken. Kiflam. Kiflam, Zondar, you're nearly a true thesis. Your antithesis is almost quelled. I'm so great! I'm very reasonably priced, too. Mm. Ah, quell my antithesis. It's easy. Just bring a small donation to Chris at the Epsilon Center in the city. But first, you must wear your medal and your attire and run five miles through the desert. Kiflam. Kiflam. Before you start the run, you want to check your map, and you're not too far from Trevor's airfield. And yes, run to Trevor's airfield and run around Trevor's airfield until you get your five miles. And the reason you're doing this is you are going to not have problems like animals attacking you or other things going on where Michael's life could be lost. And you can just do your five miles. So let's get on with the first mile. Remember when I advised people to get their character's stamina up to 100%? Well, this is so your character can run for lengths of time. And Michael running, it's about four minutes for a mile, which is interesting because Michael is essentially doing a four-minute mile. And that's four minutes of actual time. In game time, it could be several hours. But again, I'm fast-forwarding about four minutes of uh, video every time there's a new mile. Michael repeats Kiflam, Kiflam, Kiflam in order to hype himself up. And he also, if you stop him momentarily, he's going to say some different things, but you got to keep running. And like I said, you do it at Trevor's runway, makes life a little easier because, again, you're not going to deal with animals, you're not going to deal with problems, 
you're just going to be running around the um, runway area. Mile three, and Michael's still rolling. Like I said, if you keep your stamina up to 100%, the character can do this. Otherwise, you're going to do damage to Michael if you push him too far beyond his stamina. In this case, again, I've got all the characters' stamina up to 100%. That's one of the things I advise you to do. So let's continue on. Kiflam. At mile four, something very, very interesting happens, and I'm going to let you hear what happens. Brother, father, son, Kiflam. Who's this? The divine truth, Chris Formage. I fought many mythical beasts in that desert in my previous lives. You are very near to quelling your antithesis. I've been following your progress very closely. You have? I'm everywhere all at once. One more mile, and you will have arrived at where you are. Make me proud, Zondar. Craft be praised. Basically, he could have a guy with binoculars following Michael's progress and calling him in. Yeah, bullshit on that I'm everywhere, etc. Again, Michael gets motivated and wants to get the final mile done. You get the complete sound, but no complete banner, which is okay, I guess. I mean, you can put a save in, which I'm going to do, but the reason I had Michael run around the uh, runway that Trevor owns is right next door. There is a repair shop, and you can steal a car from them and get out of the area, but before. I sign off on the video. What's going to happen is there's another call from Chris later, and I'm going to just fast forward to that call, and you can hear Chris talk to Michael. Am I finished? No. Your journey is just beginning. Have you cast off the cane? Have you observed your inefficiencies? I guess so. Then they no longer exist. You are ready. Ready for what? To make another investment in yourself. Bring a generous tithe to the center in Vinewood, and I will personally receive you. A generous tithe. And, yeah, it's a ripoff. But I digress. If you found this video interesting and informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and specials, and you want to stay informed. Also, there's tons of great content, and you do not need to know the truth in order to to watch the content. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.